Good morning. Welcome back to Inadequate Thoughts and Inadequate Shots. Today, I'm going to be discussing what I'm going to be taking with me on a trip to California that I am taking with my wife here fairly soon to go to my mother-in-law's graduation. Uh, we are going to be going to Disney and just around Southern California where I met my wonderful, amazing wife. And I figured I would share with you what I pack for a travel-esque type video. This is going to be fairly similar to my what's in my bag for 2024 video, but this one may have some small changes as I may have acquired some more gear, but I can't really remember because I barely remember filming that video. I figured today we'd start with cameras. You know, the whole thing like you take a camera bag for. It seems fairly important to share those first, and I figured that would be what everybody would want to see anyway. So, what I will be taking with me as far as digital photography is my Sony a7 III with my 1.8 Zeiss 55mm that I got with this camera. I explained that in the last video. This camera is fucking awesome. I love it. And all the gear that I will be taking with it is a camera cage, unbuilt out camera, small rig cage right here. This is purely just so I can mount it to my other tripod because I don't have a QD attachment for it. I'm thinking about getting a Swiss Arca mount for that little tripod that will be coming later in the video. The tripod that you are currently sitting on right now is not going with me. It's because it's too fucking big, too bulky, and I don't want to haul it in a plane. What else will be going on this digital camera is the light bar that is currently on top of the phone looking at me. That one will be going with purely just for lighting in case the hotel room while I do an intro has shitty lighting because they notoriously are terrible. They're fairly dark most of the time, so bringing a light's not a bad idea. I also am going to be bringing an ND filter for my camera because it gets fucking bright in Southern California and it's supposed to be gorgeous fucking weather while I'm there, so I'm very excited for that. But what comes with gorgeous weather normally is really bright blue skies, so I have a ND filter that I keep in this little case. It's a k and Concepts. It's not a super expensive one because uh, there's no fucking point in paying for those really expensive ones if I don't have a really nice lens to put them in front of. Not saying the Zeiss isn't good, but it's not like a G Master. And also this doesn't have any of that crossing shit. So this actually, this ND filter is pretty good. I highly recommend. This little K&F &F Concepts Variable ND. It's their uh, Nano B series. This one's for a 49 millimeter width, which is the width of my lens and it's the only one that I have so I don't have any step up rings which is fine because I again only have the one lens so there's really no point in me getting step up rings. Uh, this is I believe a two to four hundred variable ND. It gets really fucking dark and if you're doing long exposures maybe pick one up or maybe if you're just shooting video in like a super fucking bright location like today for me would be because there's not a cloud in the sky which is nice because it's only like 68 degrees out right now it feels amazing now moving on to the film side this is just a pentax k1000 i mentioned it in one of my other videos this thing is fucking awesome first of all this sound amazing if you don't like the sound of a film shutter closing i don't know what's wrong with you it's so so nice it sounds so good but i currently have ilford hp5 loaded in this i will be taking a roll of hp5 a roll of kodak 400 speed color film and a roll of fuji 400 speed color film purely just because i like to have some variety in the shots that i'm getting and those will be really fucking cool to develop i have 10 shots left on this before i start developing my film uh, i wanted to get 10 rolls deep because like i explained in one of my other videos this setup is almost the identical focal length to my digital and i've been shooting this side by side with it since i got the film camera which is very early into me getting even into photography so i'll be making a video about that called my first 10 rolls on film and i'll go a bit more into deep diving how i got into film uh and who inspired me to do film photography uh, that son of a bitch right there follow him on any social media platform if you can uh his links to all this socials be in description just like in the other video uh, that is grainy days he's a fucking amazing youtuber uh very very relatable because i love self-deprecation and that is just my favorite form of humor because I have trauma that I need to work through. And uh, it's funny to me. It may not be funny to the other people that are around me when I make the jokes, but fuck you, it's funny to me. Uh, other than that, I don't think I'm really taking anything for the film camera. That's the other part about this. If I wanted to just take this, one, the photos would be questionable because I would fuck it up for sure. Uh, I still fuck up metering. I use my phone to meter most of the time just because uh, I don't trust the little uh, 
fucking thing on the side of the viewfinder. Other than that, I am not taking anything for the film side. Now, I'm going to get into some different gear that I will be taking. Now, what I will be taking for a tripod is this little travel tripod that I bought from Goodwill. Yeah, uh, I bought this from Goodwill for $5 because it's small. This thing weighs nothing. This is the lightest tripod I've ever seen. It's a Matterport, if that matters to you. It's, it's just easy. Each of the legs just extend about that far, which is about as far as I'm gonna need them to be and or as tall as I need them to be. Uh, and this screw mount on top actually fits my camera cage very well. So if I ever need to attach my Sony to it, I am gonna have to kind of finagle this into Disney because it does have an extendable top, which they like super frown upon. If this shit didn't move, totally fine. The fact that it goes out that far, maybe nine inches, eight or nine inches. They're like, hey, yeah, fuck you, get out. Get rid of it, throw it, in the throw it in the garbage. I don't understand why, I get it like the whole selfie stick, they don't want people like sticking their fucking shit over the sides of rides so they don't smoke check somebody with a phone. Understandable, but if you see me walking in with this amount of camera gear, I'm not sticking shit over the fucking thing. I paid a lot of money for a lot of my shit that I've accumulated over the past two years and I really like it being in functioning order. This is the travel tripod that I will be taking purely just because it's small, convenient, light, and it can fit in my backpack if I try hard enough enough. I will now move over to the gimbal. This is a DJI Osmo, I believe four or maybe a five. I really can't remember. I bought this a long time ago. I don't use it much. I did use it for an entire Disney trip in Florida with my sister and my wife, which was super fun. Disney World is cool, but I Sorry if you hate me for saying this, but I prefer Disneyland. It's probably just because I went there more. A little bit of backstory onto this. My wife fucking loves Disney. I would have never gone if it were not have been for me meeting my wife in Southern California whenever I lived there. But I paid 200 or $1,200 for a chunk of fucking plastic to walk in and out of a park. And not gonna lie, it was awesome. I get the appeal of Disney. It's good, especially if you have a pass, you can just go in and out of that shit like all the time. At least back whenever I bought mine, you could. I'm not really sure how passes work now. I'm assuming it's relatively similar, but I know after uh, the big virus thing happened, they changed a lot of the rules. Uh, this is just for like stabilizing shots on my phone if I wanna get video or B-roll of whatever the fuck I'm gonna be looking at and or taking photos of. And also in the app, this thing can track my movements, which is awesome. I just really fucking wish it would work in the software that I'm using right now to record, but uh, I digress. That is all for the mounting devices type objects that are going with me. Psych, I fucking lied. I also have this little tiny ball mount, like tripod. Uh, this is probably just gonna be more for using on my phone, which is probably not gonna happen. I'm not probably not gonna use it. I might not even take it. This is just, I've had this for years. I honest to fucking God have no idea where this came from. I probably bought it five, six years ago and just kind of like forgot that I purchased it. The other thing that I am taking with me like I mentioned before for my Sony, are film cages. I have a film cage that is currently on my phone while you are staring at me right now with an anamorphic lens that I will also be taking with me. This one, as you may notice, is shot in a bit of a different aspect ratio. This one's a 1.33 compressed image, which stretches it by that multiple of the original focal length of the lens. At least that's how I assume that works. And if that was right and it sounded smart, then fuck yeah. If not, then my bad. The other one is a 1.55 uh, same deal. They're both, I believe, blue flare, which is just like if you have a light shine in on it, it that gets a really cool blue flare going across the screen. It was very prevalent in the one video that I recorded in here because it was very bright that day. It was the one I recorded during the eclipse. I will be taking a remote, which is this one right here. This one is one of the handles that attaches to the side of that phone cage. It uh, has a little hot shoe on top of it. Uh, the other one has a hot shoe and a remote on top of it, which is nice because I could just click that and it'll start recording and I click it again and it stops fucking recording. It's like magic. You press button, button go. Press button again, button stop. That is, I believe, all for that. I have a case right here full of all of my other phone lens accessories. The other lens in here, the original mount this shit came with, which these are horrible. Do not use those. They will fuck your lens up. If you are not mounting them properly, You have I have a little micro cloth to clean any of the lenses that I need to. And then I have the example lens for what's currently on the phone right now, which is a 
Blue Flare Anamorphic 1.55 Compress, and it sits just in this little case right here. And there's a little spot up here where the lens that you're currently viewing me from sits right here. Uh, they're great lenses. They're awesome. I paid like $100 for three of them. They were on sale when I bought them, and they're great. They're awesome to use. They're really fun. Uh, they also give that cinematic look that I rant and rave about on a lot of my videos because I fucking love that look. But what else I am bringing with me is all of my POV equipment, i.e. my whole case of clusterfuck is what I like to call this because there is so much shit in this box that has just become like normal for it. Uh, I have a head mount, which I will refuse to use in public, at least during the day. I might use it at night, but other than that, that's it. Uh, same thing. I have a chest mount, which will go right here. Camera clips right here where my GoPro goes. And that is what I will show next, which is the inside of this case. There's a lot of shit in this case, including another phone lens, which this is a moment lens. It's an 18 millimeter wide focal length lens, and it is a big old bulbous boy. What else I have in here is also a microfiber cloth for any of my lenses, including this lens on either of my film camera or my digital camera for my GoPro, which this GoPro has been through a lot. Another hand-holding device, which is very suspicious looking because it looks like a flotation device because that's exactly what the fuck it is. Uh, this is one of those hollow air ones that if you throw it in a river and this shit falls in there, you can recover it because there's a giant orange phallus object sticking out of the water. You get the point. What else comes in here is a suction cup mount for a window and or just any flat surface that can retain air, which is nice because sometimes cool angles like that just help give a little bit more to the story. Oh, what else is in here is my battery charger for my GoPro. I have a little air blower for for your lenses to get all that dust out of there. Make sure there's no dust spots in any of your footage and or in your pictures. I also have a sensor brush. Really not sure what the other side of this does or what it's for, but you know, it, it do things. Also have a bottle of lens cleaner right here, which is again, KNF concept. I like their shit just because it's cheap and it from all the reviews that i read on it it's actually extremely reliable which is nice because i like cheap and usable things i also have a, another sealed microfiber cloth in here just in case the other one that i have gets way too fucking dirty and the final thing that i have in this little case is a sd card holder which holds all of the sd cards that i will be taking with i also have a one terabyte sans disk external ssd that i will be dumping hours of footage onto while I'm gone, which is nice, but it is currently hooked up to my MacBook rendering a video, so I don't feel safe unplugging it yet. That is another thing that I will be taking with me is my MacBook Air M2 chip. It's a fucking amazing laptop. I love my MacBook. I didn't know if I wanted to splurge on the money to get a really good laptop for any of this content creation shit, but it actually really, really helps and it runs so fucking well. What else I'll be taking with me is my microphone setup, which you can currently hear me speaking into. It's the DJI lav mics, they are incredible. These are fucking awesome. These things are lifesavers when it comes to recording audio. They're incredible. I highly recommend them. They're always going to be my favorite microphones ever. I love DJI shit. DJI makes great quality, awesome stuff. What else I'm going to be taking is obviously the vessel that will be containing all of this beautiful camera equipment, which is this, my nomadic Peter McKinnon bag. This is the very small one, the one that packs up into a little camera cube. I like it purely just for travel because it's tiny and it fits as a carry-on. Whole reason I like to take it. Uh, if I had a bigger camera bag, I'd have to check it in and all that shit as a, yeah, it's a nightmare. And I just can't afford to buy a bigger one. So I just use the one that I bought. It's incredible how much you can fit inside of this tiny ass little camera bag. Uh, what else I will be taking with me? Notebook, little pocket book. I have a couple in my bag. It's just full of video ideas, shot ideas, photo ideas. If I think of anything during the day, I whip this out and I just write it down. I wrote down literally the idea for the thumbnail that you clicked on to get to this video in this 10 minutes before I started recording. And I highly recommend you take anything with you to write down, uh, use your phone for notes app, just write down ideas as soon as they pop in your head. Cause if you're anything like me, they just come in for about 10 minutes and then they fuck off and to never be seen again. I believe that should be it. Um, if I'm forgetting anything, I'll pop it up here. 
And if it says nothing, you're a dumb idiot and you've almost forgot to do the outro, that should be right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I will be posting a POV video of my time at Disney and in Southern California. It'll be a couple videos. I'm gonna do one for each park. Please like, please share, please sub. All that cringy YouTuber shit. And until next time, guys, I love all of you. Have a good day. Peace.